experience to be playing out there uh, out in the wilderness, but uh, we'll see how it goes. And it looks like the draft's actually underway, so it looks like we missed quite a bit there. Um, but we see a Nana, Oliver, uh, Joe Gun into a, um, a lot of control and a Tian Lang from uh, Truel's side. Yeah, definitely. You can uh, take note of those pre bans as well. Ragdoll and Daphnis. True Will pre banning the Daphnis here. I wonder if that's a little bit of homework as well. And True Will's looking to wrap up his draft with the Volantis. Great. So he wraps up his draft with the Volantis here. I know that's an incredibly well wounded Volantis. If I was Q Dizzo, I'd be thinking about banning either the Sekhmet or the Vanessa. But honestly, the Volantis is going to provide so much disruption uh, into the Joe Gun. So True Will has a very good last pick. And also that Shizuka is going to give him a lot of flexibility. I think Oliver probably has to be a, a ban here, but I wouldn't be surprised to see another damage dealer taken out. So Joe Gun is the ban, and Volantis, of course, a very disruptive unit, is also banned as well. So look to see True Will take turn one, see what he resets, and then see how Q-Dizzle responds to that. All right, well, let's get into our very first match today with True Will and Q-Dizzle. True Will is going to be taking turn one with that Sekhmet. Yeah, and interesting, interesting to note, if you look at how fast that Savannah is, it might even be on Swift, which is not going to play out in his favor if this match drags on for a long time. See the reset landing on top of the Savannah as well. Savannah choosing to go after that Sekhmet. Sekhmet seems to be the unit of focus right now. Gets a little bit of an attack break here. Rolling the dice to see what second skill is going to provide for True Will. Only getting a stun on top of the Savannah. Yeah, only getting a stun on the Savannah, but that's a lot of damage that Tian Lang did to that Savannah. So either a really squishy Savannah or a really hard-hitting Tian Lang. And that's a lot of damage that Sekhmet's eating from that Masha. Yeah, definitely a lot of damage indeed. You can see third skill going out, getting the reset on top of the Sekhmet. Vanessa looking to get a defense break on top of Oliver. It does land true here. We do have third skill. He could get a little bit of value with stuns and does choose to go for it. Yeah, it gets a lot of value from those stuns. Truel's draft here is looking a little bit challenging because Q Dizzle does have the Nana Orb to protect him, give him a little bit of resilience, and Q Dizzle has a lot more damage and a lot more aggression coming out to the side of Truel. So Truel's going to need to proc a couple of times on his Shizuka to have a safe win here. Otherwise, there could be a lot of back and forth, and this match really could go any way right now. It really could. I mean, there's an orb potentially coming up again to stack up the two. If he can get rid of that segment, you can really see he's trying to get rid of that unit as soon as possible. He does have that skill two. Let's see if he goes for the skill two instead of the skill three. Only getting value on top of the Oliver. Wow, unfortunate. That Savannah missing, that uh, segment pretty, missing pretty much everything. And right away, Nana has two orbs. So that's a lot of resilience that Q Dizzle has on his field. That's a lot of orbs when you have two Beast Riders as well, being able to be revived back onto their beasts again. Unit of Focus is definitely going to be that Oliver. I think he wants to pump all those orbs out of that Oliver so we don't have to worry about any of the Beast Riders reviving that. Yeah, but at this point here, Q Dizzle only has one orb left and has one, a really, really squishy Oliver. Looks like he's going to lose another unit really quickly here. True Will's Tian Lang does a ton of damage here, so True Will actually has a very good chance to come ahead in this match if Tian Lang keeps proccing like it has. Yeah, he's looking for some Sekhmet procs as well. Savannah, probably with Sekhmet in the eyes right now, trying to get another orb up as soon as possible. We've got Sekhmet with just a skill one, possibly going to do that damage into the Oliver. No, goes for the attack break onto the uh, Masha. Yeah, it goes for the attack break on the Masha here. It needs to do that because that Sekhmet might be going down here and giving Nana one more orb. And I don't think that Vanessa's passive is, P Vanessa's passive is up, but that proc is massive and might take out that Sekhmet here. Massive proc right there to drop the segment. That's two orbs back on top of the Nana. Definitely looking really good for Q Dizzle right now. Yeah, looking absolutely good for Q Dizzle. I'm not really sure what value this Vanessa brings to this draft here. It's just kind of sitting here reviving units, but it doesn't really provide aggression. So Truel's going to need to have a couple of procs on that Shizuka. And that's another proc on that Masha. That's big damage. Savannah dropping the TN Lang. True Will definitely with his back up against the wall here. Oliver doing his Oliver things. We've got that third skill going for the reset. And there you have it. Q Dizzle taking round one away from True Will. Why he picked that. And that was a lot of aggression coming from Q Dizzle's side. Typically, when you're underranked or behind or not favored, you want to bring in a lot of aggression because any couple of procs can swing that match in your favor. Yeah, I'm not too sure he really needed that 33 speed lead. I think that's the only reason why he was trying to go for it and to have a little bit of value with those resets. But I also agree with you. I don't like the Vanessa at all. But pre-bans from last time, Ragdoll Daphnis. New pre-bans coming out right now. Yeah, and I'm not sure exactly what that Daphnis pre-ban was about because there's so many units that can prov provide aggression. There's uh, Molongs. There's all kinds. Of, there's You can even draft any car. As, as you saw, there was a Jogun. There's Savannah's Mashas. So I'm not sure if Daphnis is the right pre-ban there. 
Uh, Volant is taken out. Makes sense to take out an LD unit. True will take out the Oliver, so he doesn't want to fight a 33 speed lead. That is right. First pick for True Will is going to be the Shizuka. Seeing value in that unit. Q Dizzle bringing back the Nana once again. Now, this is not as a unit that True Will was drafting a whole lot and deciding not to take this unit right now is, is a little interesting. Yeah, it's interesting that True Will is taking the Shizuka first, but it makes sense given the LDs that he has in his back pocket. He does have Pontos, he does have quite a few other units. Shizuka does give him a lot of resilience, but his opponent likes to play very aggressive, so I'm not sure about Shizuka into this particular opponent. That Joe Gun is going to do quite a bit of work, but you see True Will responding with an AoE comp, which we actually don't see coming out of True Will very often. No, not at all. Water Ryu, more coming out with the Chung Pung. Two picks here in response is going to be double Beast Riders once again. That's a lot of value with Anana. Yeah, I really do like True Will's more in Chung Pong into Q Dizzle, knowing that Q Dizzle runs an AoE type comp here. But Q Dizzle responding with, I think it was a Swift Savannah and then a Masha. He does bring a lot of aggression. He's likely going to need one more stripper up top. I mean, a, a Triton or a Wunsa would be great from him to seal off the draft. True Will's going to bring in two fire units, Fire Bison and Segment. I think I really like these two picks here could ban out the Joe Gun again as he did last time and use Sekhmet to reset a Savannah to kick things off. Now yeah, let's see this last pick for Q Dizzle is going to be a Rika coming through for Q Dizzle. Interesting choice here. <laughs> yeah, so True Will's going to have to probably ban out that Rika if that Rika does get through and usually they're on 100 res so it could be a little challenging to deal with. Um, that Rika would probably win the game on the spot. So it's either Joe Gun or Rika but I think I would lean more towards a Rika ban here. And if I was Q Dizzle, I'd be looking at either taking out the Sekhmet or taking out the Shizuka, which can turn the tides. But of course, there's also the Fire Bison, which if it gets off is dangerous. So there's many options for Q Dizzle to ban out, but I really think Rika is the thing that True Well should be targeting on his ban. Oh, there's that Rika. Rika is getting banned out, and we've got the Carnal, the Fire Bison getting banned out here. Speed lead for True Well, and just an attack lead on the side of Q Dizzle. Yeah, and so the way True Will is drafted, that Moore is going to need to pump out a ton of damage because aside from Chung Pung, that's all he has for damage. So we'll see how much damage this Moore is able to do over the course of the game. Well, we've got a reset coming out for Sekhmet. Sekhmet looking to start things off right with True Will. Let's see if he lands it. He does get that reset to land here. Skill 2 coming out with the Water Ryu. Looking for some attack bar pushback here. No Despair Stuns coming through, though. Serious Matter is going to be dropping here. He goes for it to reduce the attack bars and get some resets. A lot of value sitting on top of Q-Dizzle right now. Yeah, a lot of value there, but unfortunately does not reset the attack bars of Masha, so Masha's going to have immunity to protect it, and Chung uh, Chuel does quite a bit of damage onto that Savannah, but again, Q Dizzle has more than half HP on most of his units, so Chuel's going to need to get to work, going to need to pump in damage, or else once immunity falls off, there's going to be a lot of damage coming out from these Beast Riders. Yeah, and they're pumping in some serious numbers on top of that Chung Pung. Chung Pung looks like it's going to be an easy target for Q Dizzle to take out, meaning a second orb is going to be very easy for him to pick up here. Defense break sitting on top of the Savannah. I wonder if he's going to be trying to go after that to get a quick dismount here. Yeah, but Truel also needs to be careful that his Chung Pong looks kind of squishy here. Might be taken out by this Masha. This Masha does have attack buff here. And so Q Dizzle takes out this Chung Pong. It's going to be really tough for Truel to come back. Yeah, most definitely, and I think the Nana is going to be there to finish it off. Definitely not looking very good for True Will at all. Once again, Q Dizzle with a winning victory in sight. Yeah, Q Dizzle definitely in a really good spot here. It's two orbs on Nana. The Chung Pong does get revived, but unfortunately, school skills are on cooldown. So True Will is going to need to hang on to be able to bring the Chung Pong back one more time. But there's so much aggression coming out from Q Dizzle's side. I don't know if True Will has enough to hang on here. Yeah, that is t a ton of aggression here. There's no value in trying to kill this Savannah because you know it's going to be coming back on a Beast Rider. Skill 2 available with Water Ryu. Looking to get any value here whatsoever. Cannot remove any of that immunity on top of the Masha as well. We've got the scroll that can come out here. It tries to scroll away that segment, and it does land true. Yeah, and unfortunately, as mentioned, True Will's going to need to do a lot of damage with this Moor to win the game. But as you saw, that Moor didn't kill anything. It looks like it needs a little bit more artifacts or needs a legend grind out his runes. Something is missing there. True Will has not okay. taken out any units. Q Dizzle still has two orbs. So this is a massive uphill battle for True Will to come across. It really is. You can see he's going to try pummeling the damage on top of the Jogan. Jogan's going to get removed from the field, but he's going to come back with the orb. One orb left on top of the Nana. He's going to keep he's going to keep trying to pump in that damage on top of the Jogan, potentially on the Nana as well. If he can remove the Nana, he might be able to sweep both Beast Riders with this more. Yeah, might be able to sweep both Beast Riders, and Nana's also low on HP. Jogan is low on HP, so Truel just needs a proc, needs to not get crit by this Masha if he wants to have a chance. 
Ooh, let's see what's going to be happen. Definitely Truel on the edge of his seat right now. He needs to take away a unit if he can. We've got more looking to deal some big damage. Can he get through? And Moore's cooldown is coming up, so I think Truel might actually be in a good spot here, but it'll depend if he can survive because Moore's going to be able to do a lot of damage, but get stunned. Big despair stun going out onto the Moor. He would have had that second skill available here. Defense break sitting on top of him. Savannah's not able to finish off that Moor there. Serious matter is going to be available here on top of the Chunk Punk. Chunk Punk eliminating Savannah, killing the Nana as well. We've got Joe Gun looking so low right here. Joe Gun looking low, and Moor is going to move next, and it has its skills up. So Truel looking like he's in a good spot and is going to take this one home. He's gonna go with the big second skills. That could be enough damage to swipe the field. Nana's the only one available. True Whale makes a very, very edge of the seat response here, taking down Q Dizzle in this second match. Definitely taking down Q Dizzle here. There's nothing this Nana can do, but what a back and forth here. And True Whale evens. I hate to count people out because this is already one of those tournaments where we can't count people out. And it looks like we already have our draft lock in. It's the exact same units that we had seen before. And we're going to just take it off from here. Bands are locked in, by the way. We have Nana and Volantis getting banned. Interesting. Okay, the Nana ban makes sense here because True Whale is counting on the fact that he does not want to give an orb and is okay losing a unit and should be able to take over after he loses a unit. So we'll see how True Whale does three versus four once he loses his first unit. All right, well, let's see if that's going to be happening here. We've got Q Dizzle taking turn one with strips not coming through on top of the Ragdoll, and that means Dominic's going to be moving up next. Yeah, Q Dizzle not banning out that Ragdoll, allowing True Well to cut him. That's a squishy Daphnis, basically losing all of his HP to a Dominic. So definitely challenger level runes on this Daphnis here. Wow, we were expecting uh, Daphnis to be taking down a unit here, but we've got the opposite results. We had Dominic almost taking out the Daphnis here and Ragdoll finishing off Daphnis, and already Q Dizzle is down a unit. Yeah, and it could also be that this Dominic here could be truly a Giga Chad Dominic. It does so much damage here. I don't think Q Dizzle is ready for this type of aggression coming out of Truel. And of course, that Ragdoll disrupted turn one, allowing for the setup to happen. And that's two turn immunity on two of Truel's units right now. There's that big damage coming through with the Dominic. You see Q Dizzle is definitely scrambling to try to take that unit out as soon as possible. This is the kind of aggressive play that we do like to see from Truel. Yeah, this is a lot of aggression, a lot of damage. It's not a lot of damage that, that Masha did to that Dominic. So I really think Truel's in a good spot here. I think his, his Dom Dominic is well supported. It's doing a ton of damage here. Truel looks like he's in a good spot. Definitely in a good spot indeed. We'll see what happens with the second scale here. Does, some strips are coming out, but no despair stuns. We can't confirm if that is a despair uh, more or not. Yeah, we can't confirm it's a, if it's a Despair and more or not, but also interesting to note here is that that Oliver is likely not going to take another turn. His attack bar is super low here. Truel's doing a ton of damage here and not a proc on that Masha, so that Fire Bison is going to move in front of this Oliver. Yeah, if he had got that proc, we may have seen a missing Fire Bison here, but no procs coming through. Looking for a Provoke to land on top of that Oliver. No Provoke's going to be landing. Oh, we get the additional turn. Psycho Crusher coming out to eliminate two units from Q Dizzle's field. Yeah, eliminates two units from Q Dizzle's field, and this game is over, and Truewell's able to take it 2-1. 2-1, maybe not the way Truewell wanted to take it, but Truewell is going to be moving forward.